Welcome to day number 111 on this crazy journey to Santiago. Today I'm heading to Sant Ruf Dax, just south of the town Dax, uh, or north, I should say. That means that if I do that, it's a long day, it's like similar to yesterday, and it's not fun. But the weather looks good, so it's not going to be that. That's going to be an issue. But uh, I feel better today. I'm more feel more healthy. I sweat a lot last night, and whatever. So, yeah, I feel I think it's going to be a better, more solid day. Anyway, um, I tried to call the Pilgrim Hostel, um, and they're not picking up. So I'm going to call them again uh, in a little bit, just to see if there is an option. Um, and if not, there's a, a a cheap cheap hotel. A fairly cheap hotel, so, and there's many options, so I shouldn't, there's no problem really. Um, but it's going to be a 35 kilometer day, like yesterday. But what that means is that um, getting there today means that I potentially only have three to four days to Saint Jean Piet de Port. And I might as well say right away that on the morning of the 15th of October, I will be on Stefan's. Hellhammer podcast again to uh, share the story of or the journey uh, until now uh, from since we talked was Paris a month and a half ago by then and um, that will be perfect because I, w- I would like to have that talk in Saint Jean Pied de Port so uh, if you can be on um, look for my links and that will be uh, seven o'clock uh, or something on um, Central European time, so it will be early, but if you want to watch, that would be great. So, um, yes, I'll get going. Day 111 has started. Good. Nice host. She was a bit unable to, well, she spoke English well enough to understand. She said that the, the road out here, walking on the on the little... Uh, entry road, what do you say, to the house, um, but the road out here and another road out there is called Shirt Off and sh- and Pants Off, there's another street called Pants Off, or something, because back in the day there was a bad boy or something that took off the shirt and pants of, off of pilgrims or something, I think that's what I understood about it, <laughs> so yeah. She said there was 33 kilometers, so that's two less than I thought. But, oh well, <laughs> it'll take a while, step by step here. It's about 10.30, so a bit of a late start on a late, on a long day. Yeah, I'll call that Pilgrim Place in an hour or two, and then if I can't get a hold of them, then I'll just get a hotel. I'm not going to go there and walk around town after 35 kilometers and, and so on. It's different, it's going to be different than the Camino, because I know that there's places where you can just rock up. So back on this road, the very familiar one. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be much different today, but we'll have to see. Journey has started, and today I will listen to The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, one of my favorite books of all time. I will be following the Kill Pilgrim Trail more today. So it's gonna be nice. And I'm heading into Lesperon, Lesperon now and uh i think i have enough ah, i mean if there's any food i'll see if i can buy some otherwise i'll just try it on i feel pretty good so it's gonna be better than yesterday the highway behind me the cars that are going in that direction behind they're heading if they're going all the way to San Sebastian in uh, the northern uh, corner of Spain there. And uh, I was actually there before I started the Camino in 2014. I was in San Sebastian for a few days to visit a friend that I met in Australia. And uh, so I'm close, close now. I, uh, after today, I could actually potentially be in uh, San Sean in three days. So three days from now, I could be there. And I might actually try and do that to get a, an off day before I start. But uh, we'll, we'll see how the accommodation options are and, and so on. But uh, based on how I feel right now, I definitely, think I definitely think I can do that. And it's not about getting there fast and getting all there, but I'm excited, man. I'm excited to be there. 
it's so amazing to be so close now <laughs> after uh, three and a half months. Beautiful day today. My body and my health definitely need some warmth and some sun, so that's perfect. And I feel a lot better today, so I'm happy. Happy days. It's a funny place in there. It looked like a, a harbor fishing fisherman's uh, fisherman's place. Nice walk here. I feel feel a bit a bit sore from yesterday, but uh, I feel strong as well. I already booked a place. Couldn't get a hold of the pilgrim place. Just made a decision. I'll first be there like 5.30 or maybe a bit later, so. Pilgrim in the roundabout once again. On the path towards Sanction Piette Port. Three to four days. Doot, 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 doot. Doesn't get much better than this, my friends. Sun, warmth, and it's just warm enough. I mean, it's warm, but it's not crazy hot. Wind is slightly cool, not much of it. On a day where I'm beginning to realize how far I have walked and how close I am to this big, big, big destination, Saint Jean Pierre de Port, in a few days, three to four days. Wow, it's so crazy. That means that when I have arrived there, that I have walked 2,500 kilometers or more than. I would say probably close to 2,600, but my own calculations is about, or just over 2,500. Then I have another thousand to go, or a bit more than 900 to the end of the world. So wild, so wild. I look forward to share with more pilgrims soon. And with you, of course, with you, of course. Hello, update here. Doing well. Um, definitely feeling my legs are getting slightly more sore. Um, as I have now walked about 23 kilometers and I have about 12 to go. But a really, really nice day, really perfect. Yeah, last night I sweat throughout the night pretty much and I had a crazy headache for a few hours. Yeah, I'm fortunate not that I didn't have any painkillers because I actually feel like when we can practice relaxing and allow the pain to subdue or be let go, you actually strengthen yourself. So it was nice to slowly feel that I was relaxing when you accept the pain. Um, and then I could sleep. So that was nice. And then I felt, I f my mind feels stronger today so, and not influenced by pills. Another uh, two and a half hours to go. So I'll arrive just before six o'clock and maybe, maybe around six because I need to buy some food. So a bit of a late start and late arrival. So I guess we'll see if I'll be, be attacked here. Fortunately, they didn't see that their, uh, the gate was open. They like that there is a fence, I guess. <laughs> it's funny. No, the gate was open. They could have run out and attacked me, but there was like, maybe they realized that maybe they were scared. <laughs> I look forward to uh, take another few kilometers here, get under 10. Under 10, I feel like I'm already kind of home already. My GPS, it shows 100 meters after 10 kilometers, so I can see every 100 meters that I'm closer. <laughs> makes, a big, makes a difference, you know? That is the town where I'm heading. 11 kilometers to go. So that is a sign that says, St. Paulus Dax is where I'm heading. And it says Refue Pelerins, nine kilometers. And um, I, that was the place I called. But I don't, I don't understand French, so it's, I guess I could go there and see, but now I have the other place, so. I knew it was gonna be a long day and going there and then having to walk around. Yeah, oh well. That's how it is sometimes, but in a few days, I will be sleeping in bunk beds and listening to snoring from other pilgrims. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Well, you never know when you need to be alert. <laughs> I was just about to be attacked by another dog on the other side of, of this farm or whatever. I walked through, which I, I mean, it was private ground, I guess, but it was because I didn't want to go through the, or go the pilgrim way. I just wanted to cut through somewhere. And then there were two dogs coming towards me and one of them was a German shepherd and it barked. And initially it looked like it was just sort of observing and friendly and 
I could only hear the small one bark, which was a very small dog. And then all of a sudden it sort of began to run towards, or not run, but sort of, yeah, it was sort of a stance of attacking or something, you know? And uh, here, here's the path again. So yeah, it was not a, it, it was not much of a shortcut really. But then it was really growling and, and like running after me sort of. And I just had my sticks that I stuck out in front of me to sort of defend myself. <laughs> and it, it, it was really like beastie looking, you know, like it was really like, you know, coming after, coming for me, you know. I started to walk back and, or stop. And then it sort of stopped and then I yelled, hey, to the, when I saw a woman and then I start walking towards her and she took the dog and she said, just walk straight here. And then that's where I'm walking. So I'm really happy to have these sticks. I wonder what, what, have, what would have happened if I didn't have them. Some kind of animal sanctuary in there. A lot of deer, a lot of deer. But very tame and unwild. A bit sad to me. Um, less than four kilometers away now, so I can soon rest. I feel pretty good. And uh, look forward to arrive here soon. Look forward to get some food and uh, enjoy the rest of the day, evening. And uh, yeah, just thought of that maybe if I can do three. Uh, Abish days, or maybe a bit longer than that, then I can do um, Then I can do uh, uh, They just acknowledged that I was pilgriming <laughs> The car in there um, That uh, maybe I'll do a short day on the 14th, so walk in and early to Saint Jean Pierre de Port I think that would make sense to do so We'll see. So about two kilometers into the hotel here, as I'm walking into the outskirts of the main of the town here, industry area, industrial area. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, but my lower legs were definitely uh, used. Seven, 70 kilometers in two days. So. I would say that's well done. It's been very easy in terms of the path. I mean, it's very it's been very quiet and nice, and it's only been right now there's been noise like this. So the last few days have really been uh, beautiful in terms of nature and quiet and everything. So uh, now when I talk about it, I can actually sense that that's 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 good for in here, you know. So uh, yes. I will end the video when I'm there. There is a place where I can find something neat around there, it looks like as well, so hopefully that will be easy. Yes, I'm right by the hotel now, just down here. And uh, I'm walking into the main town of Dax now, I guess. This one that I'm staying in is just a <coughs> suburb, suburb before, so. And I have food for the night, so now I can now I can just check in and relax. So let's go. I am here. Let's check in. Arrived just before six o'clock, and uh, I feel good. I feel strong. And uh, don't feel actually very little tired. Uh, I'm healthy now compared to yesterday, so I feel probably a lot more energy because of that. So, <laughs> oh, you got to see my hair. <laughs> um, um, yes, so uh, I'll kind of relax now and uh, be done. So, um, cheapest, ho cheapest hotel. I hope that at least the internet is good enough. Ciao for now. Made it. Three or four days left to Saint Jean Pierre de Port. 111. Uh, yeah, 111th day is now done.